Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Memos. Now, Memos is a lightweight, self-hosted, note-taking application that's easy to use and highly customizable. If you're looking to keep quick notes, ideas, or organize your thoughts, Memos provides a simple interface and features that makes note-taking a breeze. They do have a GitHub that you can look at. I'll leave the link of it in the description below. And at the same time, you can see some of the features and also how you can deploy it using Docker. I always recommend supporting these kind of projects. So if you want to support them by becoming a sponsor or contributing code or any other way you can support them, that will be appreciated. So Memos is self-hosted. It's quick, minimalist, and it is open source. It is highly customizable, making it an excellent choice for anyone who prefers privacy and control over their data. Unlike heavier apps like Evernote or Notion, Memos is lightweight and focuses on simplicity. The app is straightforward and easy to navigate, featuring a clean and intuitive user interface. You can create, edit, and organize notes, and it supports Markdown. You can format your notes with ease. There is also a tagging system, which helps you sort and find notes faster. Let's go through the install process. Now, since I'm going to be using Casa OS, I'm going to speed up the install process because it's very simple and uh, straightforward. If you know how to use Docker or Casa OS, it's basically as easy as going to the store and clicking install. So now that my install is live, let's add a simple note. What we're going to do is add this note and let me use the tagging system. We'll add a hashtag and we'll call this Ubuntu and we'll save. And now you can see that this is being selected. If I click on it, it will only show me basically filter things that are filtered with Ubuntu. And also what you can do is that you can comment or basically react. Let's add a reaction here and let's add a comment. And now the comment has been added. So if I go home, you can see here that I have my notes one and then the new note I just added. We have the reaction and if I click on the comment, we can read. So this means that you can use this in collaboration with other people and they can comment and they can react to what some of the notes that you're adding and they can add contents at the same time as you. So let's go to the settings and see what we have there. All right. So here at the my account page, we can edit our name. So edit and you can change your name, can add your email and description. You can also change your avatar, which is something that I like. So if you don't like this little uh, avatar they have here, you can remove that. You can add webhooks here. Um, other than that, we can also do light mode, dark mode, uh, members. We can add other people. So you can create users and admins. In systems, we have the server name or the application name, basically. Uh, you can allow other people to log in or sign up. So if they go to your main page, they will be able to sign up. Another thing is that you can disable password login. So I don't know how that would work, but you can see here that you can do that. Um, you can change your URL, you can add more CSS and more JavaScript. And also this says uh, disable public memos. So I believe this means that you can create some memos that are available if someone visits your memos page without logging in. So this, what would that, that would do uh, storage here. We can uh, look at the storage and you have the SSO. So if you want to log in from other uh, login providers, you can do so by filling in all these information. If you want to use GitHub, GitLab, Google, or any other kind. So they do, they do support that. 
So the way I use this, guys, is that every time I have an idea or any thought that I want to not forget, I'll come here and type it in. The best part is that you can always come here and search for something that you've typed and you can look it up and it's going to show up exactly where you would expect it to. If you do plan to expose your memos install to the Internet, it's very important that you secure it. You can do this by using a reverse proxy such as Nginx proxy or Caddy. Both of these services make it easy to implement HTTPS using free SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt. Overall, Memos is a fantastic option for anyone looking for a simple, self-hosted, not taking application. Its lightweight design means it runs smoothly even on small servers or devices like a Raspberry Pi. The markdown support and tagging system make organizing and formatting notes easy and you have full control over your data. While it's great for personal use, memos can also be used by small teams. With the right security and backup strategies, it becomes a reliable and secure alternative to cloud-based solutions such as Notion or Evernote. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.